this is another division that could be tricky. NL Central, I'm going Cardinals as my favorite team. One of my favorite teams from last year. I have them from seventy or eighty seven wins to ninety eight wins. Um, it's sad to say, but I do think there could be a little regression. It's not very often you have two of the top runners uh, runners for MVP, including the winner and Paul Goldschmidt. Um, and and then you're gonna what? You're gonna match it next year yeah. like it's kind of tough yeah. um i love wilson Contreras' move i love that he's one of the best hitting catchers in the entire game maybe the best um you know they have two mvp le- mvp level guys in their lineup they've got some solid pitching i i'm not as high on them this year as i was last year just because i do think that there's a chance that the two their two guys aren't as good just from a you know production standpoint but i do really like this team i still have them winning the division yeah, I mean, I like them too. I like them a lot. I I don't know. I don't know if it's I... It's a tough team to read because they could be disgusting I, or they could take a step back. I want to take the Brewers, but it completely depends on whether or not Christian Yelich figures it the fuck out and starts playing baseball yeah, again. And I do want to mention, I, I watched the podcast he was on, and he made a big note on how this offseason he finally like came – came into peace not like the Aaron Rodgers esque yeah. but like tiny bit the- he went sightseeing he he found himself this is all what he was saying and i think that there's a chance that we can get old yellich back and if we do this team's dangerous this, if if they get yellich back they win the division one of the things about the cardinals that concerns me it's not necessarily what you were saying about having two caliber mvp players and how can they keep that up they had a bit of magic to them last year with with Yadi, Pujols chasing course, the home Pujols, runs, and then yeah. Yadi or Molina, both of them in their last season. It was kind of a last dance feel. You said that a lot last year. I remember you yeah, saying that a lot I, mm-hmm. of it being a last dance feel. And I think it's hard to follow up the next season with. It definitely is like a great. year. They still have Wainwright to kind of give them a little bit left of yeah. the last dance, but but I, I don't completely agree with what you're saying. There. I obviously I'm not in the room. Pools and Molina were beloved. In that clubhouse, oh, yeah. I don't know if Wainwright is. He, I think he's right up there. He's definitely a. Step he's definitely behind. not on the level. Yeah, yeah he's definitely of, a step behind both of them for sure. Like Molina might have been the most loved player in the league. Yeah, uh, yeah. across all teams, you you ask anyone how they feel about Molina. Oh, I love Molina, great guy, and Beast. so I mean, I think it's gonna be tough for them to follow up last year's magical season, even though it didn't end in a championship. I could see it. It was still a special season to be a part of that team. So. Yeah. I, I um, see them taking a bit of a step back. Definitely. I think the Brewers are going to be right there, too, if they do take a step back to leap them. 85 to 95 wins is my um, range. Pitching, pitching, pitching. Corbin Burns is my Cy Young pick this year. Um, he's disgusting. Strikeout monster. Um, I wish they had more consistency in their lineup. The pop is there. Rowdy Telez has been a ma- massive for them. He is massive, and he will be massive again for them next year. Um, I think Yelich could come back to being – his normal level, and they made some solid additions. I like Jesse Winker a they lot. They have a great pitching staff too. Great, their pitching's phenomenal. They have their best four players are pitchers. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Jesse Winker, solid bat. If he can get going, that's a that's a good piece. And then William Contreras, Will, Wilson's brother. William is from the Braves. Um, was an All Star last year. I don't know how deservingly he should have been an All Star starter last year, but albeit he was, it's a really good move that they made. Keep an eye out for the Brewers. Um, the Cubs, 75 to 85. Solid upgrades. Not a playoff team yet. Yeah. Cody Bellinger, I think. He's another guy. I, I kind of put him in the Yelich category of I think, like, dude, when are you oh, going to figure it out? Yeah. I think he can get going. And if he does, you know, this team could be interesting. Don't think they're a playoff team. They got Danzy Swanson. That's another great move. Jameson Tyone, Trey Mancini, Drew Smiley, Tucker Barnhart. They got some pieces. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they're gonna need some more pitching to be really competitive. Though. I agree. Pirates sixty three to seventy seven wins. I want to root for them so bad, but they just suck. Like at least like try. Like what they do is they get these guys every once in a while. Two percent of them hit, and they're a star level player, like what they have right now with Brian Reynolds, and they don't want to pay him. They don't want to pay him. Yeah. So then they have to trade him. So now Brian Reynolds is gonna get traded this year for sure. Maybe even before the deadline. Just pay your players. If they're good, pay them to stay. That's how you build a team. O'Neill Cruz is interesting and fun to see. Um, I'd love to I love to monitor him and hopefully he has a good year. Andrew McCutcheon is back. You know, a little uh it's not the same Andrew McCutcheon. Not the same one for sure. Um David Bednar, all star. 
uh, and Cabrian Hayes, also good to watch. Uh, Carlos Santana without the shift will be interesting as well. Um, he's one of those guys that gets affected a lot. I, I want to root for them. Just they suck. Do better. They suck. Do better. Great stadium, too. Just do Really better. cool. Uh, the Reds, another team. They don't deserve any of our time, really, for right no, now. But I really like their farm system. I really like their youth. Hunter Green, Nick Lodolo, solid arms for them. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz. Keep an eye out on Ellie De La Cruz uh, and Encar- Encarnacion Strand, two guys that are younger that could make a splash in the majors this year. Keep an eye on, th- on them for a breakout. Aaron, Sab- uh, Sabato- Aaron Sabato, um or Sabato, I believe it is, uh, on the podcast – you know, he's a Twins prospect and friend of the pod. He came on and he said that these two guys are insane, two of the best players he's ever played against in the minor league level. So keep an eye on that. Uh, and Will Myers is basically their only addition. Mm-hmm. This team isn't worth our time. No. Next. 